This is the Kippon Bavice and it's a medium format to full frame focal reducer. It lets me use medium format lenses on Sony or Leica full frame with the crop factor reduced to 0.7. Meaning you get to use more of the frame from all the delicious medium format lenses out there compared to a dumb adapter. I have the Mamiya 645 to Sony version, other mounts like for example Hasselblad is available, but since I can adapt from Hasselblad to Mamiya if I want to, I think 645 is a bit more versatile. The adapter is very solid, a hefty build and it feels well crafted. The mount is very precise and the front cap is metal. The plastic rear cap works just fine on the adapter but don't put it on Sony lenses. I did once and it was tough to get it off again. The number of lenses you can use are plentiful, like I said you can adapt from many medium formats like Hasselblad, Bronica and this very affordable Pentacon 6 mount. This is a size Jena 80mm f2.8 and it didn't cost very much on eBay. Regular Mamiya lenses are very affordable as well. A telephoto lens like this 150mm f3.5 or even this gem, the 80mm f1.9, can be had for next to nothing. This particular lens in mint condition actually did cost me nothing. I simply bought a Mamiya 645 Pro camera with it sitting in the mount for 120 bucks and then I sold the camera for 120 bucks. And since I happen to have two of them, I could compare the adapter to its film equivalent. The pictures are just quick snaps by hand and not from the exact distance, but we can still see the difference from the 0.62 crop of the Mamiya versus the Kippon's 0.7. But besides that I think they both look great. The adapter is said to introduce some barrel distortion, now that might be true but on at least this image they both seem to have an equal amount of that. Also, both of them have way less than, for example, my modern size 35mm f2.8. Speaking of which, that lens is great but suffers from a lot of aberration. The longer medium format lenses with the adapter, however, does not. But they do flare quite a bit when I skip to use the lens hood. But what about sharpness? Here we see three lenses, the Mamiya 80mm f4 macro, the classic vintage Minolta 50mm 1.7 Roker and the modern size 35mm f2.8. Now I'm not very obsessed with sharpness but I'm gonna go ahead and say that it's definitely sharp enough and the amount of detail is awesome. Since we are comparing to the Roker, what about using so-called equivalent lenses? Here is a test, one is full frame, the other micro four thirds. Exact same settings, but an equivalent lens. Maybe it's just my screen, but one definitely looks darker. The problem for me is that I don't care only about shallow depth of field. And lenses is about so much more than that. It's about contrast, tint, bokeh, look of the bokeh, distortion, sharpness, focus zones, the list goes on and on. And that pretty much sums it up for me. It's about using these lenses on a digital camera and not just the center crop of them. It really comes very close to giving me the same workflow experience and joy I get from shooting with my medium format film cameras. It's not about replacement, in the same way that the Sony doesn't replace my 35mm film cameras. Film is film and digital is digital. 
but it gets me a bit closer to the joy without always needing to develop. It's a complement, not a replacement. And to emphasize that, here is one thing that a Sony Plus adapter can do that the Mamiya 645 can't. Shoot video. That video concludes my evolving review of the adapter, which you can read on my site. It's a very personal thing and really down to taste. Therefore, I'm not gonna tell you that you should or shouldn't buy it. But in the review on my site, I've made a little list of pros and cons to help you decide. That's it, please check out my Instagram for new pictures every day. Until next time, goodbye.